Dear students, I am going to present to you the explanation of the fact that, in general, the expected value of a product of two random variables is not equal to the product of their expected values. ये जो कुछ मैं आपसे कह रही हूँ इसकी एक्सप्लेनेशन क्या है इट इज एज फॉलोज सपोज दैट वी हैव टू रैंडम वेरिएबल्स एक्स एंड वाई देन इन जनरल एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वाई इज नॉट इक्वल टू द एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ वाई आप थोड़ा सा शायद हैरान हो रहे हो क्योंकि आप जानते हैं कि अगर x इंटू वाई की बजाय अगर x प्लस वाई हो तो हम हमेशा ये बात कर रहे होते हैं कि एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ x प्लस वाई इज इक्वल टू द एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ x प्लस द एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ y तो फिर सवाल ये पैदा होता है कि वाई इज इट दैट इफ यू आर मल्टीप्लाइंग द टू इंस्टेड ऑफ एडिंग दम Um, that same kind of an equation does not hold in general. इसकी वजह यह है कि ये जो x into y जब आप करते हैं तो then it is no longer a linear function. जब आप x plus y कर रहे हैं तो addition हो या subtraction भी हो तो अगर x raised to वन है और y raised to वन है तो उसकी जो linearity है उसकी जो power वन है Um, that is still there. लेकिन जब आप x into y करते हैं तो वन x की पावर मल्टीप्लाइड बाय y की पावर वन जो है तो वो पावर्स जो हैं वो मिला के आप यू सब समझ लें कि वो पावर टू हो गई गोया एनी वे इट इज नो लॉन्गर अ लिनियर फंक्शन एंड द थिंग टू बी कैप्ट इन माइंड इज दिस दैट The operator of expectation, ये जो operator है ये जो capital E जो है um, that does not go inside the expression if that expression is not a linear function. So let me give you an example by which you can understand this point, inshallah. So let us divide at random. a horizontal line segment of length 5 um which can be any unit 5 inches 5 cm whatever so a horizontal line segment of length 5 let us divide this into two parts and we are doing it at random so if capital x represents the length of the left hand part then obviously 5 minus x will represent the length of the right hand part zahir hai ki jab total length 5 hai ek side pe agar length x hai to baaki ki jo length hai obviously that will be 5 minus x now uh, students since we are dividing the line segment at random therefore it is reasonable to assume that the length x is uniformly distributed yani uska um normal distribution ya exponential distribution ya kisi aur tarah ki distribution ka koi reason nahi banta na it is a random process and we can reasonably assume that uh, this uh, length capital x follows the uniform distribution given by f of x is equal to 1 over 5 for the line segment 0 to 5 yani f of x is equal to 1 over 5 where x goes from 0 to 5 and f of x is equal to 0 elsewhere now once we have made this assumption we can proceed to find the expected value expected value of x ka formula to aap jante hi hain in case of a continuous random variable what is the formula expected value of x is equal to the integral 
of x into f of x. And obviously, the integral is over the entire uh, range on which that function is defined. So therefore, in this particular case, what will e of x be given by? It will be the integral from 0 to 5. You get x hamara jaraya from 0 to 5. So the integral from 0 to 5 of x into f of x. f of x kya tha? 1 over 5. So therefore, it is the integral of x multiplied by 1 over 5. dx to zahir hai ke hum likhte hi hain. Uske bagayar to integral complete nahi hota. Uh, so therefore, the integral of x over 5, which is obviously x square over 10, or phir iske upar ab hum obviously limits apply karenge. Upper limit minus the lower limit. So 25 over 10 minus 0 over 10, that is equal to 5 by 2. Yani 2.5. All right. This is the expected value of x. Wo jo humne usko tata tha, randomly divide kiya tha do parts mein. Wo jo left hand part hai, uski jo expected length jo aagai hai, that is 5 by 2. Ab jo dousra, dousri side hai, wo jo right hand part hai, humare us horizontal line segment ka, um, uski bhi to ek expected value hai na? So let us compute that one as well. So what was the um, that length given by? It was 5 minus x. So therefore, now the expected value of 5 minus x will obviously be given by the integral from 0 to 5 of 5 minus x multiplied by f of x or f of x kya hai? Ohi. 1 by 5. So, uh, the integral from 0 to 5 of 5 minus x over 5. That is 1 minus x over 5. Or ab aap integrate kar lije. So, that is x minus x square over 10. Uske upar aap limits apply kar dein. And you do it. And what do you get? 5 by 2. So, interestingly, the expected value of the left hand side is also 5 by 2 and the expected value of the right hand side is also 5 by 2. All right. So, I am going to present you present examples. I am present you because I wanted you to see that in general, the expected value of the product is not equal to the product of the expected values. So, is liye ab yaha agar hum in do random variables ka product le le yani x wo jo length hai left hand part ki multiplied by 5 minus x jo length hai right hand part ki to is product ka ab agar mein iski agar mein expectation loon so what do I get as you can see on the screen the expected value of x multiplied by 5 minus x will obviously be equal to the expected value of 5x minus x square. And that is the integral from 0 to 5 of 5x minus x square multiplied by f of x, which is the same 1 over 5. So... We are dealing with the integral of 5x minus x square. This whole thing divided by 5. And you can do all the steps. And what do we get? Ultimately, as you can see all the working on the screen, the final answer comes out to be 125 over 30, which is uh, the same as 25 over 6. So, this is the same thing that the product that we have done, the expected value hai, that is 25 by 6. However, what is the product of the expected value of x 
and the expected value of 5 minus x, the two expectations that we computed earlier. You remember? Each one of them was equal to 5 by 2. So, when you multiply 5 by 2 by 5 by 2, what do you get? Obviously, you get 25 over 4. So, 25 over 4, my dear students, is not equal to 25 over 6. So, this is a simple example uh, showing you and demonstrating to you that in general, the expected value of the product is not equal to the product of the expected values. Now, I will tell you the last thing. कि ये जो एग्जांपल है इसमें आप देख सकते हैं कि जो लेफ्ट हैंड साइड की जो लेंथ होगी राइट हैंड साइड की लेंथ उस पे डिपेंड करती है जाहिर है कि अगर ये x है तो वो 5 minus x है अगर आपने इधर छोटा काटा है तो उस तरफ लंबा होगा अगर इस तरफ लंबा काटा है तो उस तरफ छोटा होगा सो दे आर आई मीन द द राइट हैंड लेंथ इज नॉट इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ the left hand length. So, ek bahit case when the expected value of x into y is equal to the expected value of x multiplied by the expected value of y is that one case when the two random variables x and y are independent. You can look up examples and every single time you will find that if they are independent, then in fact the expected value of the product will be equal to the product of the expected values. <laughs>